Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is some of the new security enhancements that Grandstream has implemented in GDMS.cloud. If you're not familiar with GDMS.cloud, it is Grandstream's free cloud management platform for their uh, unified communications, networking gear, all the things that Grandstream has. You can manage them there, deploy them, upgrade the firmware, all the things, right? How you manage devices, but it's also the gateway to remote services that they offer. So in an effort to make sure that your devices and your information is secure, Grandstream has implemented some new features and we're gonna take a look at that. So come on over and let's look. All right, so we are over here at gdms.cloud. This is the GDMS URL. And one of the first things that Grandstream has implemented on the GDMS site is when you go to create an account, they have a sign up link uh, down here. Now, to actually sign up with the service, and some of you are probably thinking, well, this, this may not be such a big deal, <clears throat> but what they have done is you fill out your nickname, your username, email, where you're at, the type of user you are, whether you're a personal user, system integrator, enterprise, channel reseller, service provider. But then here, you actually have to provide a Grandstream device verification. So you have to provide a GDMS manageable devices, MAC address, and initial password or serial number which is located on a sticker in the device and occasionally on a secondary sticker sent in the box of the device. But you have to provide that. Once you provide that, it doesn't just activate the account. You'll have to put in a verification code. Now, a lot of this, what this is going to do is it's going to stop bots and scripts from being able to just create accounts um, and all kinds of attacks, right, is what we're slowing down. So I think this is a, a good way to discourage, first of all, people who don't need GDMS because there's a demo site that you can look at all of the interfaces, the equipment. You don't need GDMS unless you have Grandstream devices. You have to enter this verification code, which is a CAPTCHA. Lots of sites have, you know, these, these CAPTCHAs here. And then the other thing that I like is that when you – look at their privacy policy. You actually have to scroll down before you can click I have read. I know, I know, I know. It's just a technicality, right? But they are forcing you to read the terms and conditions, which I, I think is, is pretty nice. So this is kind of the first stage before you really get into it. Now, on the front page, there was something else that you probably saw, and we'll go back here. But there's also this sign in with SSO. Now, Grandstream does provide multi-factor authentication on their own. And if you want to see a video on how to set that up, let me know down below. If you want to see this whole process played out, let me know. So I already have a GDMS account and I have a lot of my devices registered. So I'd have to find a device I don't have registered, create the account. The other thing is once you get through this signup process, you don't get automatically activated. Grandstream actually has staff who are verifying this information before they turn the account on, which is another thing. So there's a, there's a human element to it in the background, which I think is fantastic. So that second piece that I was talking about, you can uh, sign in with single sign on. So what Grandstream has done, instead of just locking you to their app and locking you to their multi-factor authentication, Grandstream has a guide over here. It was updated December, uh, November 26 of 2024. You can do single sign-on using Entra. You can do it with ADFS. You can do it with Duo. So you don't have to use another app. So if you're already using Microsoft's solution, if you are already using Duo, which Duo is hugely popular, I love Duo, you, you, don't, you can roll your GDMS username and password into 
an MFA solution that you're already you're already using, or you can use Grandstream's MFA application that's built in. You should always, always, always enable MFA. So these are just a couple of the ways that Grandstream is trying to make sure that we understand they take security seriously. If there are other things that you want to know about this, let me know down in the comments. All right, and that was a little bit of some of the new security features that Grandstream has built into GDMS.cloud. If you've got any questions about those, you can always contact Grandstream. You can leave a comment here and I'll try to answer it or maybe somebody else that's watching this video either has the same question or can answer it. You can reach out to us in a multitude of ways, but there's a lot more going on behind the scenes to make sure that your devices and your information is secure. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Whether you need voice over IP, security, networking, storage, all the things, right? Head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you do reach out with something that we can't help you with, we do have a wide selection of other vendors that we work with, and we're more than happy to make those referrals. If you'd like to talk about this and other topics, head on over to community.willyhow.com and join the conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.